A letter went out recently, email form, I presume, yes. to customers, some customers of Panhandle Dumpsters, the yellow trash cans you see out there on the curb every now and then. And uh, Mr. Gilstrap, you have a copy. Please read that. Okay, I will skip the introduction that says, you know, thank you for being a, a customer. The, the meat of this says, the state of West Virginia, the Public Service Commission, and the local recycling programs have concluded that your area, which is where I live, only needs one permitted trash collection provider. They have concluded that Apple Valley Waste is providing an, quote, adequate service, close quote, to your community. Therefore, we have been forced to conclude that we can no longer provide service to your area. This decision has been a challenging decision for us to make because we genuinely care about the local area. We believe you should have options and not be driven into a local and state monopoly. We have spent countless hours and tons of money to find other options, but unfortunately we must continue to, we must continue dumping out of state, which is kind of the big issue. This combined with fuel and increased dump prices has brought us to a point where we are forced to change our business model. Um, and I'm no longer reading from the letter. The underlying point here is that uh, panhandle dumpsters are not allowed to dump their waste in state. They have to go into Maryland to dump because that's what the rules are. And uh, we welcome in Senate President Craig Blair on the program now. Craig, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning to your listeners. Thank you so much for joining us. I know we have done a show previously, going back a few years, about Certificate of Need as it applied to gasoline prices in the eastern panhandle and uh, trying to get competition in those prices so that uh, you don't, you don't uh, have the same price. That, that, w that was unfair trade practice. That was not certificate of need. Right. Uh, it, it was kind of on the same parallel, though. They're different. They're, they're different. They're different. But, it, but, so. it, but yeah, obviously. Uh, so let's move forward then. I don't want to go back and forth on that. But let's <laughs> let's talk about this. Right. So because it, uh -huh. it all comes down to competition and the ability to be able to negotiate better prices, which in the garbage business is difficult to do in this area. How familiar are you with that email that went out to the customers of Panhandle Dumpsters, Craig? Uh, to, um, to, uh, to Paul Espinosa made me aware uh, of it, and then I got on to it and called Public Service Commission and was asking questions about it. And then went on my way back to the Eastern Panhandle on Friday, I had uh, a conversation with uh, from Panhandle, a representative of that, forgive me, I can't, I'm, I struggle with remembering names. I tried to look it up on my phone before I, I've got on air, but I don't remember his name uh, that I spoke to with Panhandle of uh, on that. So, But am I familiar with it? You bet you. I've been through garbage wars before, mm -hmm. uh, and that's what they call them down here. Garbage wars seems to break out about once a decade uh, down here in the legislature. And uh, it's an in interesting dynamic. Uh, and to, to w what I've been most interested in is when it comes to the dumpster, the roll-offs, the construction waste, and making sure that we have a competitive environment and that and Panhandle will still be in that uh, arena. And by the way, there, are, according to the conversation I had, there are only um, – getting out of about 300 customers, and they're in the Harpers Ferry, Bolivar uh, area is what I understood. Keep in mind that when they pick up this waste, uh, they don't take it to LCS. They don't take it to a transfer station. They don't take it to Hagerstown or Virginia. It goes all the way up into Pennsylvania. So what this was is since they didn't get a certificate of need to be able to do this, uh, then they're like, well, wait a minute now. Then we need to, uh, to make sure that our company stays viable. Uh, and what I mean viable, profitable. Uh, you can't operate in a negative. Uh, and apparent, apparently these customers um, are, it costs more to get their garbage to Pennsylvania uh, than what others do. And the certificate of need uh, is in place for Apple Valley to be able to take care of these customers. John, before you go, Bill, John, is your service affected? Yes, my, I live along the Potomac in Berkeley County, and and we got we got that letter canceling our service with Panhandle. So it's it's not just down near near Harper's Ferry. 
And as I understand um, it, the, the reason that they ha they have to go to Pennsylvania is because they've been locked out, probably the wrong word, uh, for of the, the landfills here in Berkeley County. What's the mechanics of that, uh, Craig? I... I see this kind of the root of the problem. Uh, wh who makes the decision that uh, Panhandle cannot use uh, the local landfill? I believe, to, to notice I'm prefacing this uh, mm -hmm. because I, I'm not an absolute expert. I don't want to give misinformation on this, but I believe uh, that it's all got to do with the certificate of need process and then also who owns the landfill. For instance, in Virginia, uh, the, the, you can only haul Virginia waste into that one. Uh, I think the one in Maryland is set up that way also so that they only take the local waste. They've got some way or another of being able to work around that. And I've always found it interesting that they could do that there, but because of interstate commerce, the LCS actually has to accept out of state. And so that has always been a curious factor uh, from my standpoint. I didn't ask those questions the other day when I was on the phone with them, though. Yeah, and I, I do understand the prohibition of out-of-state going to certain landfills. That's been around for quite a while. Uh, one of our uh, com uh, commenters on Facebook mentioned that the county council was aware of this and took no action. Uh, again, I'm not sure what role the county council would have, uh, and, uh, and I'm not sure what the uh, Solid Waste Authority would have. Uh, and I, I don't know what strictly the landfills authority or public service uh to me it's a to me that's a key point but i don't know the answer to that well the, and the, but the public service commission has a lot of oversight of on all the way stream of that, that we deal with and so that question would be probably better aimed at the public service commission because i think that they could give a definitive answer clint hogman who is an act an absolute expert on this is another one that uh, we could talk to and by the way i have not talked to clint about this issue yet well clint was referenced on facebook i mean our comment but the fact that Clint's not here, I did not want to invoke uh, Clint on taking a position. Uh, and I don't mean to be doing that either. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm just saying who has knowledge on yeah. uh, on it because it can get complicated. So. But but yeah, uh, it appears though, uh, again on the surface, that it's uh, that someone has made the decision uh, to exclude one company and not exclude the other company and okay uh, so yeah let, let, let's talk about that for a second though and you notice how at the beginning of this conversation i talked about uh for the dumpster the roll off the construction waste of uh, and see that is one that i believe that uh shouldn't have a con of a certificate of need of being able to address that that's a competitive environment uh but when you get onto the street level pickup uh you don't want uh for instance uh waste management or apple valley to pick up at one house, then the next house it's Panhandle, and the next house it's somebody else. I mean, there's some areas of that, for instance, of uh, I know it's in Morgan County, to where the uh, homeowners association will buy themselves a pickup truck or a truck, and then put all the garbage in and haul it to the landfill themselves, and, that, and that's legal. They can do that. Of and so th there are all these nuances that come into play, but you can't have of a free market, so to speak, and you say that okay, I'm going to buy my of garbage service from one place and your neighbor does another and your neighbor does another. There's an economy of scale that needs to come into play there for that. So I recognize that. Uh, but do there need to be improvements in the state of West Virginia? You betcha. Getting it passed through the legislature next to n never. Uh, and the reason for it is is that in most areas, there's a... D d I don't know how to explain this. They've got a commitment to the people that are currently hauling their waste stream. Yeah, I can un I can s I can see the economy of scale, but that's something that the business owner, waste management, uh, excuse me, Apple Valley and uh, the dumpster should make. Uh, we as a homeowner 
put in our trash alongside the road should not be involved uh, who picks it up as long as it's been picked up in a the correct manner. Uh, the economy of scale, again, is is driven by just that, uh, who can make the best profit, and the business owner should be, should be the one making that decision. And it's fundamentally no different than propane delivery, right? I, I, I have a propane tank in, in my yard, and I can choose from one propane company or another, and my neighbor can have something completely different. I don't think that there's any problem whatsoever, certainly in a neighborhood like mine, where you with the the different contracts, people have different uh, uh, yard work folks, landscapers. People have different builders. People have different everything. I just I don't I don't understand. Competition is good. It just seems unreasonable to me to say that that one company can get access to a state landfill that everybody else can get access to. I can take it there as as a homeowner, but this one other company that happens to be a competitor can't do it. That just seems bad to me. I don't disagree uh, with you on that, uh, but again, to trying to be able to change something statutorily uh, to do that, and I'm only just speaking uh, from past experience, it is difficult. I never dreamed, that's why I call it garbage wars, I never dreamed how difficult of getting something changed would be of, on that. It's much easier to do a tax reduction in this state of, than what it is to be able to make those modifications on that because of being able to garner the votes both in the House and the Senate. Why? Uh, would it, I, I just got done explaining that. No, no, no. And I mean, it's, it's, is, okay. Sorry. Well, while, to, while there's a pause, right. let me get, ask a question. Do you believe, uh, uh, Craig, that this decision for the prohibition was made with the Public Service Commission, or was it made at the local landfill decision? Oh, I believe the decision was made by the Public Service Commission and uh, the owner of Panhandle. Uh, okay, to, and uh, to, if the Public Service Commission would have granted them the, the certificate of need, I think that they would still be delivering of or, or picking up the garbage in, in those areas. And I'm assuming, and notice I'm using the word assuming, that the certificate of need actually fall, falls on Apple Valley, that they can be picking that up. Somebody already has the certificate of need for that area. You see what I'm saying? Apple Valley may be the ones that it should be or are required to, to pick it up uh, because of the fact they have a certificate of need. And I'm putting that with a, a, a little bit of a question mark. But I would think that there were certificates of needs that it would cover all the area of in Jefferson County, because that's where we're talking about. No, it's Berkeley County. Berkeley County. Berkeley yeah. County. Yes, and Craig, before we get no, off, no, no, yeah, no, hold, no, 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 hold no, on. No, hold on. Hold, hold on. Hold on. I, I, I don't believe that that's accurate. Because I live in I Berkeley so County. Specific. I got the letter. Okay, well, hold on. Of on this, and they told me that there was ten thousand other customers, and I'm only as good as what I was told on the phone. Of uh, that, uh, Panhandle had ten thousand other customers, and there'd be no interruption in their service. That's a call that you need to make into Panhandle. I was told, that, like I said at the beginning of this, that it was about three hundred customers, and it affected in the Bolivar Harpers Ferry area. Mm -hmm. Now, if you received a letter otherwise. This is new information to Craig Blair. And you need to get ready and give a call in to pay handle. And actually, I need you to get me a copy of that letter. Okay. By, by the way, Drew Johnson from Panhandle Dumpsters will be on the program today. Maybe John Rick or tomorrow, I should say, at 9 o'clock. Maybe John Rickards, too. I'm not 100% certain. Char Delegate Chuck Hurst wrote uh, moments ago, My son has three properties in Berkeley County, Falling Waters and Western Berkeley. Panhandle has cut services to all his properties, Craig. So this okay. is new information. Again, yeah, yeah, I'm not blaming you here. Don't get don't get defensive. I'm not blaming you. I'm just saying this just came in from Delegate Chuck Hurst. Yeah, and this is brand new news to me. Uh, if that's the case, that is not what was said to me on my ride back about four o'clock on Friday afternoon. Of uh, when I had the phone conversation, I was told it affects 300 customers in Craig. Harpers Ferry in the Bolivar area. Go ahead, Bill. Okay, I was going to say, Craig, this. Begs, uh, raises the question: Are all services such as this 
cover it under a certificate of need? Is that kind of blanket understanding that all services, public services, under a certificate of need? Well, see, so certificate of need, there's uh, um, so much of it. We've been working on eliminating it. It can get into the healthcare industry. Uh, it used to be that uh, the wrecking service, uh, when towing services, had certificate of needs of, on it. And moving. A mover in West Virginia to be able to, to um, if you wanted to move your office or your household uh, of goods across town, you need to have a certificate of need. I at least got rid of that one uh, because that, w- that was just insane. Uh, I got some pushback on that, too, when I did it, uh, but or when I supported it. Uh, but, yeah, to, uh, there are certificates of need uh, all across the, sta- uh, or t- the spectrum of different things that take place. Uh, certificate of needs that you see of WVU Medicine, Valley Health, of if somebody wanted to put in an MRI machine and it has to go through the certificate of needs process and we made some improvements this year on that uh, and it really comes to where you've got the growth no growth areas and that lends itself into what I was talking earlier it's difficult to address these certificate of needs in the legislature because we've got so much no growth areas and they're worried about you've heard food deserts before well you don't want health care deserts. You don't want these type of uh, things taking place to where there's no providers at all. Craig, as you work through the the, uh, the solution to this, to add another complexity and watching some of the comments on our Facebook page, uh, there appears to be several folks in Berkeley County uh, that still that have the dumpster as their service, main service. Uh, the question that that again, it's not is, affecting dumpster service at all. Well, but okay, but the point is, there are certain places in the panhandle that the uh, panhandle dumpster cannot be uh, be utilized. There's other sections that it can be utilized. What makes the distinction of one part of the geography is can they they can operate another part of a geography they cannot operate. In all honesty, that came from a court ruling years ago, of, and I believe it was a Supreme Court ruling that made it so that uh, when it comes to the dumpsters, that there was interstate hauling of, that came into play on that. And that made it so, far as I know, there is nothing to do. With, to, to Panhandle can do wherever they choose to, or Waste Management, or Apple Valley when it comes to the dumpster of off construction ways. I'm sorry, we're not okay. really in this case. There, even though it's Panhandle dumpster, they actually pick up alongside the road. So forget I use the word dumpster, and I didn't should not have uh, the Panhandle dumpster yep, the, the, business. There's two different divisions of that, though. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, but and let's, the, 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 let's the not... The dumpster side of it is what I'm an expert at, and that's what you said. Now, when it comes to the residential, that's a whole different dynamic. And, yes, they can bid out zones, the certificate of need of on the certain the, the, of waste haulers control certain areas through the certificate of need process. All right, let's take a step back, and maybe I don't understand the certificate of need. It seems to me that we're establishing the, the, the county, whatever the government entity that is that, that does this, is establishing monopolies for one company over the other, and they're not doing it in terms of being in business. They're doing it in terms of being in business economically. So by closing down the dumpster, the, uh, the land, uh, landfill to one company and leaving it open to everybody else, establishes a, a monopoly that there has to be a logical reason behind the establishment of a law that allows that what is that logical reason to, to, to be able to provide the service and and i'm not saying i agree with this okay so don't misunderstand me on that but this has to do with everything with the west virginia public service commission and the laws that are on the books that they operate underneath of of and uh, changing them is difficult i just went through and explained some of that of uh, from that standpoint so and again you can't confuse the 
the dumpster, the roll-off stuff with the pickup of the garbage along the street. Those are two different things. And whenever you've got a certificate of need, that's why I believe that I'm, I'm not even quite sure how Panhandle was doing it in areas with somebody else actually having that certificate of need. Well, why didn't they get the certificate of need except – except they were hauling it out of state. And so they may have been able to run over top of that of the law by being able to do that and pick up those customers. But yet, and and we all were thinking about the residential side, and sorry there's some confusion about the dumpster side, but this whole conversation is on the residential side. Again, the, the problem is not the actual pickup for uh panhandle dumpster uh the problem is that that they were they had to take it out of state uh and they are still operating in quite a bit of the eastern panhandle uh if the problem is just taking it out of state why are not certain sections certain areas such as where john gilscrap lives cannot be picked up it's not the picking up issue, it's where they dump I handle that question. I can't answer that question. We know the answer to that question. And the answer to the question is that they've been locked out of the local dumpster, or the local landfill. They have to, they, not Apple Valley and not me if I wanted to collect my own garbage, they have to go out of state, but their competitor does not. So that's what's running them out of business. It's the transportation costs and all of that. If, I presume, I don't want to speak for the company because I don't know, but the but the subtext of the the email and I will forward that to you. The subtext of it is I'll if we that. if we could if we could dump locally, then we could still be in business. But John, that applies to only a part of the count uh, the Eastern Panel. Other parts of the Eastern Panel are not affected. Why? Oh, I have no idea. The transportation cost of taking the garbage out of state to Pennsylvania, as you've noticed, gasoline, diesel Did prices are higher. Wait, wait, but 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 if they no no no, no, no. A- Let, go. Bill may have hit on something here uh, on that, and that is if you got the CON, there's, uh, and say it's Apple Valley, uh, then they can haul the waste to the North Mountain landfill. And remember that the landfill is not a state-owned landfill also. That is a privately held landfill, and I, I believe that it's waste management that owns that one way or another. It, it might be a subsidiary area of that. Uh, that's the way it used to be. Uh, and and so that they've got the agreement through the certificate of need that that's where they take it. Yeah, but I'll come back to the fact uh, uh, the uh, Jim Klein uh, in Fallen Waters, uh, Panhandle Dumpsters picking up his residential trash. John Gilstrap in the very east uh, western part of Berkeley County it will not be able to use Panhandle Dumpster. Uh, and both cases, Panhandle Dumpster will be carrying their trash to to Pennsylvania for disposal. Uh, what's the difference between these two? It's a good question for tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a question for tomorrow, and I'll have to tell you, this conversation that we've been having has been convoluted uh, in, in a way that it's – and it, it demonstrates how difficult – that we've had in this conversation being able to get it accurate on, on what's going on. It's exactly the same way in the West Virginia legislature when it comes to addressing it, and everybody's got different interests on there. And it gets, uh, again, you, you, when it comes to certificate of need, it doesn't apply. It's likely not to apply across the county in its entirety. Okay, it doesn't apply to a municipality like the city of Martinsburg. The city of Martinsburg picks up their own waste and hauls it. So that wouldn't be within the certificate of need process. You see what I'm saying? Where does Martinsburg, does Martinsburg City dump their trash at the landfill? landfill? Yeah, yeah it, it goes to the landfill. But they do, they do not use... Uh, either Apple Valley or uh, Panhandle Dumpster to carry it there. They yeah, do it, they they do do it, it themselves. themselves. They do it so, but themselves. so that doesn't count as a for-profit yeah, company. That's right. I, I, you're go, you guys are going to do a bunch of interviews with people, and when it's over and done with, I hope that you can call me up 
and say, here's the solution, Craig, uh, because <laughs> it is difficult. And I've been through this a, a couple times now, not so much so on the residential level. That's been pretty steady until now. And I really don't believe Unless I got bad information from Panhandle the other day, uh, I, again, I was told 300 uh, trash pickups was all that would be affected by this. And maybe I got misinformation on it. But 300, that's got to be just Harper's Ferry and the Bolivar area. You can't, three, did you see what I'm getting at? Sure. 300 households. Yeah, there's a discrepancy there. Is, is it possible, John, that the email you got doesn't mean that your service is discontinued? My last pickup is June 5th, and then they come by and pick up the little yellow bins. So there's no confusion it, about that? No. And Delegate Hurst yeah. is saying that his son's getting the same thing. The, and right. it, that sounds like the exact letter that I got forwarded to me by Paul Espinosa, uh, because that, that's that's what I heard. All right, uh, Delegate uh, Mike or, or Hornby right. just walked in, and he's got some information, too, because I know he's had some conversations about this over the weekend, too. Yeah, Good. So, get the ball in here. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Craig? So I've been listening, and I've been involved in this quite a bit. Uh, first of all, I am... I have a personal relationship with the owners of Panhandle Dumpsters, and I've talked to Clint Hogman from the Berkeley County Solid Waste Authority. The way this works is the Apple Valley Waste has a significant need for residential in all of Berkeley County. Uh, waste management has the commercial side. So Panhandle Dumpsters came in, and they wanted to start a trash business. They cannot dump in West Virginia because of the particular need. So they have to go out of state. They are choosing to stop service in certain areas because it's not profitable. So that's how this is all working. Now, I think Craig's right. It only affects about 300 to 400 customers. Um, but they're picking and choosing who, who they're allowed to pick up from. But it's a business decision. It's a business not decision. Not a bureaucratic no. certificate of need. Now, it, they did apply for certificate of need, and uh, they didn't get it. Why? So... Um, because you have to prove there's a need. And Isn't the, there a the, need for competition? Just an so, inherent need for competition? So here's, here's, yeah. the, here's the problem, is when we got Apple Valley originally to come and do our trash for Berkeley County, because we didn't have any of that, Apple Valley came in and said, we will do it for X amount of price, and we will do everybody, no matter where you live. So that was a pretty important... Um, negotiation back in the day and it cost apple valley a lot of money so when they did these negotiations it was hey we will come in and service all of the panhandle and we will do this and we will do it at a fixed rate for everybody um but we want to be the only ones and the fixed rate was set by the public service commission that is correct so I understand both sides of the story you know drew's a good friend and i think he should be able to have a, a dumpster business but both companies need to play at the same level, in my opinion. Now, wait a minute. Now, they, they can still do the dumpster side of it. Yes. Uh, the, 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 that, that certificate of need thing uh, basically went away from that standpoint. And see, this is where this conversation has been getting convoluted when you talk about dumpsters versus residential. Mike, everything you've had head on is spot on when it comes to residential. Yep. And thank you for uh, getting on the air and help clarify it because I wasn't doing a good job. Uh, but when it comes to the resident or the dumpster side of it, the roll off and all that, they're able to come in here and pick that up and haul that out. Yeah, and and they do that very effectively and well, and they ha they own a large share of that market. So our, yeah. this is not affecting anything on the commercial dumpster side. This is residential service, and there are some, you know, I, I happen to be in in some meetings with them because obviously I was I was trying to get them their certificate of need. You know, they, they'd come. To to me very early in my campaign and say, hey, we, we would really like this. Um, and when I looked at the delivery um, maps that they have, there are some outlying areas that are just not effective because they're right here on Eagle School Road. Um, and if they have to go out and there's only, let's say, 42 people um, on a delivery route that takes them six hours, as a business owner, I understand where they're coming from. So there are some Berkeley County residents on in, in some outlying areas 
that it's just taking them too long unless they had a lot more customers. But the fact of the matter is, if they could dump locally, then that would not be a problem. Now, here's the thing. If they could dump locally, they have to service everybody. Yeah. So, you know, the argument was Apple Valley... You, you can argue on their business model and things like that, but the, the fact of the matter is Apple Valley picks up everybody's trash. Mm-hmm. What's the differential in price of a service? Do you have any idea, Mike? Uh, or I th- is there a well, dumpsters, Panhandle dumpsters, I think is a set, uh, don't quote me on I think they're like 23 bucks. You don't uh, know what quarter. Apple Valley would be. Uh, I believe it's it's very comparable. Okay. Um, uh, I think Apple Valley does, I think, uh, quarterly. It, I know when I changed my residential service, I was saving... You know, five, ten bucks. Uh, you know, it was. Uh, before we go further, Craig, uh, hang on, and Mike and Bill and John, because uh, former Berkeley County Council President Doug Copenhaver has called in. He was involved in the meeting November the eighth when certificate of need yep. was was turned down by the Berkeley County Council on the advice of Clint Hogbin. If I'm reading the yep. email that it was just forwarded by Jim Klein, uh, 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 Doug. Good morning to you. Thanks for calling in. Good morning, Rob. How are y'all doing today? Great, thank you. Can you offer some further clarity to this issue? Well, no, I just wanted to give you a different perspective of, of the topic right now. Um, let's, let's look at it the other way. Let's look at it to say in the letter of need. Certificate of need is there to protect uh, the prices from going up, especially in the trash business. So, uh, as y'all have been talking, if, if you're only picking up 50% of the household when you was picking up 100% and your cost is going to be about the same because you still have the trucks, you still have the fuel, you still have the drivers, um, it could actually affect your your uh, service fee in a bad way. It, it could drive prices up rather than keep the prices down as we look at competition mostly. Yeah, it's just and a the different more perspective. People- Go ahead, Craig. Hey, Doug, you're you're spot on. And let's say there's two, it, it can drive the price up. But if there's four or five, then it gets even exponentially higher uh, because of that. If you had full on competition like that, yeah, I just want to throw out in there. That's all. I think Doug, I think Doug makes a good point. The, the, there is a reason for it in, in that that it started. It's just you know, it, it, is dumps just being. Un- unfairly treated i don't think it's unfair but they did apply um and clint ogben you know i had had a meeting with him because i was really on on pain and dumpster side but i've kind of come to the middle now and i understand both sides and, and i think something could be worked out but it, under the laws that it I currently don't, I is don't, i don't understand the argument fundamentally let's take it to something else if you have an exxon station and a shell station at mm-hmm. the you know, opposite corners and one is selling the, the the gas for 350 and the other one is selling it for 375 where are people going well you have like, a choice you have a choice and that's what we don't have a choice but in, and in most municipalities like for instance the city of martinsburg you don't have a choice but well, berkeley county is not a municipality you know i, mean, I don't technically we don't, it's still part of the government it is part of the government but it's uh, it's my and, and i'm not saying i love it i'm right just, it, but it, it's 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 my decision. It's my driveway. It's my trash. I don't understand why I don't have. And I, I, it, it just seems to me it's fundamentally unfair. And um, yeah. see, John, I think you got to look back 20, 30 years, and maybe Doug, if Doug's still on the Doug on the just phone. hung up. I heard oh, quick. Um, we didn't have tra- full trash service back then so we had to entice a company here everybody was just dumping their own trash anybody could be a trash man so i, I think for, it. we're burning it or doing whatever or dumping so, it as, so as a as a government organization the county made the decision we need to do this um and the state has that certificate need in place same thing with health care there is i see both sides of this and, well health care is different i mean it's fundamentally well, no different. trash is even worse than health care i mean trash everybody's got trash not, not everybody uses the health care system <laughs> i mean we, we, if you gave apple valley the choice to, to pick and choose their customers and panhandle pick, to pick and choose their customers there'd be 25 percent of our county that would not get trash pickup on the other hand if we open yeah. if we opened up the landfill to everybody and every company then you'd have service. Yeah. Hey, let's get Craig back in here, too. Craig, go ahead. I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm just sitting here agreeing with the conversation. <laughs> uh, did, did, have, has anybody paid any attention to the discussions in this show, though? And that is is that there's a, a lot of moving parts to this. And the fact is is that what we've got right now is not perfect. 
but it's as close to perfect as what we can get right now until we have a state that is more viable economy across the board everywhere. And then what you can do is go back in, and instead of having a whole county with one certificate of need, you have zones. You're able to bid out areas, and you allow competition to take place that way, but you cannot take it of have competition on the street level, or as like Doug said, it will drive up the price exponentially Doug, across the board for everybody. Doug just called back in. Doug, did you have more to add? Well, uh, I've heard y'all say a couple times this morning that the county council turned them down on a certificate of need. I just want to make sure we set the record straight that the county council was asked to write a support letter for yeah. them to, to apply for their certificate of need, and that's what we chose not to do. Yes, thank you for the further clarification on that. And you you chose to not do that on Clint Hogman's advice recommendation? Well, well I, I chose that because I, I felt like Apple Valley done a good job and also chose to do that. Um, um, hold up, I lost my train of thought. Um, Apple Valley, I felt, done a really good job. And, and, and plus, for the exact same reason I've already given you, I thought it would drive up prices. Does Apple Valley have to run their rates by the county council on a regular basis, Doug? I think that's done through the Public, public Service, service Commission. Public Service Commission right. does that. So, go ahead, Greg. Hey, hey Doug, okay, can I, let me ask Doug a question, sure. uh, if I may. Yeah. And, uh, Doug, do, don't you think that uh, Apple Valley has to pick up where Panhandle's not picking up now uh, because of the certificate of need? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Apple Valley is already picking up there, I think. Yeah. Uh, all the, throughout the uh, eastern panhandle, Apple Valley is currently picking up. And Apple okay. Valley, no hard feelings here. Do pick up when all this is done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm getting at is, is that uh, for the listeners, they need to understand, even if you've got Panhandle picking up of uh, your waste stream out in front of your house because uh, that, that was where you, you, you wanted to go, uh, you still have the ability to have Apple Valley take your uh, and pick your waste up in front of your home and take it to the landfill. You, you're not out of service. It's these customers that – were choosing to go with Panhandle, and they were hauling it out of the state, uh, that, that that they were going to have to go back to Apple Valley. Is yeah. that a right? Did I say that correctly? That is correct. Yeah, I think yeah. you're right. And Drew's going to clarify tomorrow yeah. when he comes on in terms of whether this is limited to Harper's Ferry and Bolivar or further out, because Ch Delegate there, Hurst said it's various areas of Berkeley County. It is. John lives in Berkeley County, too. There, there, there's, I think, four small corners of, of, of their... Um, Routes that the, so there is Bolivar Harpers Ferry, but there are some very small pieces of Berkeley mm -hmm. County too that are um, out there. Doug, thank you for the clarification. By the way, in terms of the control the county has over certificate of need, that's obviously a state issue and not a county issue. I appreciate that clarification. All right, have a good day. Thank you, sir. Craig, I appreciate your time today too. Any final thoughts on this? <laughs> well, it's, as I told you yesterday, and it's, this is an interesting subject that is one of the most difficult ones there is out there, uh, being able to do it. And I've been, I was more concerned about anything when I've seen that. I thought Panhandle was pulling out, and the dumpster service, the roll-all service, they were going to cease to, uh, to do that as well. I was uh, very relieved when that happened because they have well over over 80, 90 percent of the construction hauling waste. Uh, and if that's not going to the landfill up there, then it frees up that tonnage for our people. And that's where I was getting concerned by, because there's a cap on how much tonnage can go in that landfill uh, of every day or per month of on that. And so I, I got grave, grave concerns when I seen that happening. And but then I got relieved when it was only residential. I, in fact, I didn't even know Panhandle was doing residential until we had the conversation. Yes, we were we giving away free dumpsters. There, for there are a lot of yellow uh, uh, pickup uh, crash containers alongside the road. Craig, thank you kindly. appreciate your time yep. this morning. Gentlemen, have a good day. You too. Take care. Senate President Craig Blair. Michael, thank you for stopping in. I appreciate your clarification. Thank you, sir. I'll get uh, Michael Hornby there. And the Admiral and John Gilstrap return after the break here. This is